boats, boats, boats. Brisbane Yamaha knows boats. Hey, g'day guys. I'm pretty excited about this one here. You're gonna see some pretty awesome footage of on the water. We were out on the water the other day, full workshop test with the customer. But what we really wanna talk about here is the Helmaster system. Another one successfully done by Brisbane Yamaha. And what I thought I'd draw your attention to first, there's a lot online now about the Hellmaster. Everyone's enjoying it, everybody's doing it. I think if you've got twin motors and you don't have Hellmaster, you're really starting to miss out. But what we've got here is a, is, is a narrow tunnel cat, so it's a very fast hull. But what the boys have done is they've popped all of the original gear out of the, out of the dash. We've put a really nice carbon fibre backing plate in there just to keep it all tidy and to make it look as original as what we possibly can. But hey, we're not here to talk about the cat, we're here to talk about the Yamahas. Let's have a look at this. Your key switch, obviously your start and stop buttons now are separate on them. This is the new 6x9 uh, rigging that's uh, Series 2. We're on to now with those. And obviously, that's the fun bit, the joystick. Joystick is great for docking and low speed manoeuvrability, but it's also got its fish point here and waypoint. So with the autopilot on this here, it does everything your autopilot will do and more. It is absolutely spectacular what we were able to do on the water. We were able to set it up so that we, we did fish hold, we did patterns, we did spot lock. The customer's comment on these motors were, we won't mention what brand came off, the boat now performs the way he always wanted it to perform. He'd been trying four blade props, he'd been trying all sorts of things to get this thing to sit where he needed. Yamaha's T-Series props straight off the bat. The only thing we found with the T-Series props, I guess 17s would have been nice on it. We were touching the rev limiter at over 80 kilometers an hour in swell with 17s. We're gonna go to 18s and see trial it again and possibly even have to go to 19s. The boat will top out well into the 90 kilometer range now. It is pretty spectacular what we've done here. So it's a full credit to Chris and his team in the workshop. Bo and Brownie put this one together. But it's just another example of how Brisbane Yamaha, we go to the extra yard to make sure that the customer's happy. Not dealer of the year for nothing. We're really working hard down here at Brisbane Yamaha. There's gonna be YouTube footage of it out on the water in what I would consider extreme conditions. And you'll see Hellmaster at play. Here we are with a pair of white knights, the 300 XSB number two, which means it's in that beautiful pearl white. How could you not have anything other than that now? He really wanted the pearl white. It's a father and son team that own the boat. But we've just fitted the 18s because as I said, we were touching the rev limiter. We may even go to 19s. The lads are gonna put 20 hours on this in a week and it's coming back for its first service next week. And what we're gonna do then is just ascertain whether or not we do in fact need to go up another pitch size in diameter. But what we did on here, which was really cool and they only just fitted, we've got a set of jacking plates here the jacking plates were already on the boat and what we had to do was integrate our system onto the jacking plates to be able to do that because unlike most of the Australian built cats, these are running a 25 inch transom rather than a 30. So he's got jacking plates and that's just going to allow him to get a little bit more performance out of it. But all of the inbuilt electronic steering now is hidden in the tube, it's sealed away and like anything with Yamaha, it's been heavily field tested before you get it. That steering system came off the 425s, which have evolved into the 450s. So it is more than enough steering system for V6s. But what we're gonna do is show you some footage of this thing. It was an absolutely spectacular day out in the bay. So what we're doing is, we're calibrating the Hellmaster so it knows where we are. So we've just done some big circle work and now we're heading true north and just so we can set the parameters for the Hellmaster. You can see down here Kieran, he's taking it easy and I tell you what, I'm impressed with this Softshore 31. You know, it's known better than Head 2. I don't know what happened to better than Head 1. What happened to that, Bronson? Oh, she, she wasn't good enough wasn't better but have a look around and we've had a good look at this boat it's a very nice boat with the 300s and the the comment that was just made it had a set of e-techs on it just weren't reliable 
So we've just calibrated it, and now what we're trying to try is the joystick. So what are we doing, Kieran? Uh, we're just using the joystick and just tracking back, and literally just turning the joystick left or right to what way we want to go, just like backing up on a marlin, something like that. And what's the advantages of that, having the joystick? What do you think? Uh, docking, boat maneuverability, just 10 times easier. Have a look down here, Dan, how easy it is. A big boat like this, are both motors working independently, Kieran? Ah, uh, yes. And yeah, can we walk this sidewards? That's exactly what we're doing now. So you know, the, big, the big advantage is if you were on a pontoon and you wanted to dock your pontoon and you had a big boat in the wind, this is the way that you can move sideways. There's nothing else like the Yamaha Helm, Helm Master for it. Have a look at those motors, Dan, how they're working. And I'll tell you what, aren't Yamaha a thing of beauty? Bronson's here, he's had heaps of boats. He's half a, a boating nut. What do you reckon about the look of them? They do, they look second to none. And uh, so far, what do you reckon? We enjoy it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's waiting to see how fast it goes, he's half a rev head. Yeah. But uh, let's have a look. What are we going to do now, Karen? Uh, going to do some speed tests. Hand it over to you guys. Speed test? Do you up. think it's all set up? It's all set up. Ready Prove it. Go. Put spot lock on. Spot lock. So we've put spot lock on. Now let's watch those motors work. No one's touching anything. Right now, it's a big ask. Have a look. There's not a single other boat out today. So what you do with this is to stop. You might be rigging up. I don't like it so much for fishing because the motors are revving, doing a lot of work. But I tell you what, if I was out looking for a uh, broadbill or something, and I was out off the shelf, uh, I would use this feature. If you were doing that by hand, you'd be flat out, you know? You would not be able to keep this thing just sitting here. And on the sounder and the GPS, you can see it's just sitting there. So you can see what he's done there. He's, he's actually, how did you know what to do then? It says single lever, I thought that'd probably use it. Have you done some research on this? No, it's the same as my If you're gonna run the show, mate, I'm not interested. <laughs> you know, this is my show. Did you see that? So and Aaron, how do I put it in single lever? <laughs> yeah, well, that's how you do it. I, I taught him that earlier. But what, um, I, I suppose what that shows is the Yamaha controls, they're just another level on anything. Even an now, idiot like me can do it, we're good. Well, he's far from an idiot, <laughs> you know, because he bought Yamaha, but he did buy Evinrud. Okay, so up here, they're in kilometres an hour. Oh, let's see what this little baby does. And if we look off, there's a, there's a few storms and whirlies, noses up. You've got two, four, six. Yeah, she's going to go all right. Look at that. Wow, 76, can you see that Dan? We're at 6,000, we're doing 80. And we're doing a bit of trim. And 80 feels pretty fast in this. Oh, on the limiter. On the limiter, six. 80k. What we uh, what we had is we've got 17s on it, and it basically uh, does 80, 82, but it gets there really quick. So we need to put some bigger props on it. Certainly got some go, and I tell you, in the seas of today, 80k feels pretty fast in a boat this size. Um, and so it'll be interesting to see what it'll actually do with a bigger prop. But listen to this out here. Have a look, you've got a couple of 300s. I've got my microphone out. Everyone be quiet for a sec. You can't hear the motors. All you can hear is the water. You can't hear anything. They are so quiet. Wonderful things. So on the autopilot, what had happened? Go, go on Bronson, we'll steer it way, off. We've set a waypoint that we want to go to. We'll continue. I'll, um, hold track point and it's operational so now and we so, just accelerate we don't have to touch so we've gone on to track point we just increase the speed now the great thing uh, with simrad and with any of the sounders 
Pete will get his straight there. How far off's the mark there, Bronson? Uh, we're only about 100 metres off. All right, we're 100 metres off. Don't touch anything. <laughs> so we're just... <laughs> we're just off, just off the mark. Are we, we're nearly there. It gets there, and now the motors are just slow down and stops on the mark. Now, with a Garmin, it will just actually hold on the mark. So if you're an alcoholic and you fell asleep in the boat, you'll wake up on the fishing spot. Normal people, it, the boat will just slow up and stop here. Just a wonderful thing. So Bronson, so the, what's the immediate difference between the Yamahas and the Evinroots? Massive difference in noise. The economy looks better, and they're just easier to use. Well, there you go. Economy, easy to use, and we can just talk with them on. And you couldn't talk before? Nah, it's, you can have a conversation at the helm. Yeah, pretty easy too, really. Yeah. And that's at, uh, that's at like 5,000 revs too. <laughs> Travelling along at 67, he's, a, he's an absolute uh, speed demon. So, how long have you been racing cars for? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no.